Welcome to Behringer Talks, the show where we answer questions that you, our customer, have using our almost 50 years of industry knowledge and expertise. So today we're going to look at the question, what is deep tissue injury and why is it bad? Deep tissue injury, or DTI, is a form of pressure ulcer or pressure sore. Pressure ulcers are localized areas of tissue damage of necrosis, or death of tissue, that develop because of the pressure of a bony prominence, or a part of the body with limited tissue over it, including your heels, iliac crests, and the sacrum. A thin blister will form over the surface of the wound bed, sometimes causing local discoloration, which hides the progression of damage to the underlying tissues until the trauma is increasingly problematic and treatment is more difficult. Those most at risk of getting pressure ulcers include patients confined to a bed with illness or after surgery, urinary incontinence, and bowel incontinence. The severity of pressure ulcers can vary from inconvenient with the treatment at basic nursing level to severe and life-threatening complications such as blood poisoning. There are six stages of pressure injuries. Stage one, skin may be painful, but it has no breaks or tears. The skin appearance is red or discolored, and the temperature is often warmer and the sore can feel firmer or softer than the tissue surrounding it. At stage two, skin usually breaks open, wears away, or forms a tender and painful ulcer. The sore can look like an abrasion, a shallow crater in the skin, or a liquid-filled blister. Some skin may be damaged beyond repair or may die. Stage three, the sore extends into the tissue beneath the skin, forming a small crater. Fat may show in the sore. At stage four, the sore extends into muscle and bone, causing extensive damage. Damage to deeper tissues, tendons, and joints may actually occur. So there is one called unstageable, and this means that the stage is not clear. So in these cases, the base of the sore is covered by a thick layer of other tissue and pus that may be yellow, gray, green, brown, or black, and the doctor can't see the base of the sore to determine what the stage is. So the last one, the suspected deep tissue injury, or SDTI, when a deep pressure injury is suspected but can't be confirmed. The area of the skin may look purple or dark red, or there may be a blood-filled blister. So in the incidence of a deep pressure injury, blood flow to the area is absent or significantly diminished, which causes cell disruption, dematuration of plasma proteins, and hypertonicity, leading to cellular dehydration and cell death that may be similar to what happens to patients with frostbite. The U.S. national cost of burden of hospital-acquired pressure injury, HAPI, could exceed $26.8 billion dollars. About 59% of the costs were disproportionately attributed to a low rate of stages 3 and 4 full thickness wounds, which occupy clinician time and hospital resources. Steps for preventing pressure ulcers include the use of a foam mattress, or one filled with gel or air, and pads placed under the patient to absorb any moisture and keep the skin dry. Soft foam set between body parts that press against each other or the mattress can also alleviate the pressure. Behringer Labs uses prevention philosophy when developing the CareDry sponge. The soft, conformable, and moldable CareDry sponge conforms to any patient anatomy, any patient size, any patient position, and also includes antimicrobial benefits. These can potentially help prevent pressure ulcers and deep tissue injury for your patients. <laughs>